Hi guys, this is Temple Boy Turnins and I am Steve. You're all very, very welcome back. This week's project is uh, a nice little simple project. It's a, a nice Valentine's project and it is quite simply a heart shaped box. There you go. And then just a, a wee little stand for the heart to sit on. And I suppose that box could be used for any kind of uh, use, but I just thought Valentine's Day, it'd be nice to uh, put a bit of a, a message or or maybe even a ring inside it and uh, you can use it, give it as a gift to your other half and, uh, and it will be forever displayed on that little stand. It's all done on the lathe, apart from a, a little bit of hand sander. Yeah, from start to finish, it was all done from a log or a branch. You can make smaller ones quite simply from the smaller logs. So they're a nice, simple little project. So uh, watch the video and enjoy. See you in a bit. Okay, so I have my log here. Funny enough, it's already heart shaped. Um, but I found the biggest cylinder that I can get out of this piece of wood. And I found my centre and used a centre punch just to mark the centre there and the same the other end. So we know that we're going to get the biggest cylinder out of this as possible. And um, just the little divots will go on my spur drive and on my live centre on the tailstock. So I have our piece of wood here. It measures around about five and a half inches long, 140 mil, um, and it's about 75 round, which is three inches. I want to get the heart shape into this, into this end. So we've got to turn it at right angles to the to the chuck. Okay. So I need to measure in from this end because this is the end that we're going to be turning. I need to measure in 40 mil, which is about inch and a half, roughly. That's in the tenon end. And then we need to mark our center points for going between centers. So um, I don't have an indexing system on this lathe, so I'm just going to use the chuck. I only need two reference points. Uh, we'll go with this way. Um, so I'm going between these two jaws. Okay, I'm going to draw a line just roughly center. That's one. And then we're going to go complete opposite. So we're going to miss one, go to the next one. And we're going to go straight along there. That's given us two center marks where those lines cross either side. Um, low centre. I'm going to put a small divot just like that on each side and I'm going to take it out and put it at right angles between centres. I mark that with a sharpie so you can see it. So we're going to be taking out probably roughly around about that much. So that's roughly kind of the idea we want to get. So we're going to be trying to take, just in this, while it's this way around in the chuck, we're going to be trying to take this section out. Weapon of choice is just a 3.8 bowl gouge at the moment, just to see how we cut. We might go changing it in a second. We are chopping into end grain. So what we're doing is we're just looking at the very top section here and we're looking at the shadow so we can see how much we're taking out. And you can just see the shadow starting to form here at the top. We'll just take a look. 
Oh yeah, so I'm right about on the money this side. And I need to just take a bit more off. shape on the other way so I'm in my chuck and I've just brought the tail stock up just for a bit of support as it's not really pushed into the end you can see there that the spike isn't in but it's just pushed up just to give it a bit of support So I've got it back round the other way and uh, I want to just soften these edges off here a little bit. sanding it's only literally just hand sanding to get this as smooth and as round as possible on the top I have that sanded to 220 you know just I've got it to a basic shape but I can finish the sanding the hand sanding later I'm going to turn it back round put it in the chuck again and then we're going to part off the top, it's going to be a lid for this box. So I'm just going to use a thin parting tool and mark where I want to put this. So the box is going to be here. top of our box and I can sand sand the bottom of that again in a second my parting tool was a little bit blunt there it just started burning well there's more friction on the side I didn't leave enough of a gap when I was parting off but uh, I got there in the end okay we're gonna hollow this out now <laughs>
nice tight fit and now we can reshape the outside and get the heart formed. Okay, so now we've got the lid on and we've got the, the top shape coming round. It's time to um, finish off the heart and then part it off from the main block. There we are, the overall shape. So now I've just got to uh, sand that up now. It's got quite a good finish off, off the skew, but um, I've just got to sand it up now and uh, I might put a bit of decoration on it, I'm not sure yet. sanding on that and then I can part it off put a bit of finish on yeah I'm happy with that okay so we're going to put some Yorkshire grit on this I've sanded it to uh, 240 and now I'm going to apply some of this Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to part the bottom off and we call the heart done and then it's just a matter of making the stand. And I just coloured around the, the rim and yeah, around the two rims with just a black sharpie. And this goes together. That, yeah, that way around. There you go. One heart box. Okay, so we're going to stick with the same piece of wood. There's just the bit that's left over. And we're just going to make a wee stand for it. Um, I'm going to start by hollowing out the centre so that the heart just sits and drops into the top nicely. Perfect. Just how I want it.
looks nice. So there you go, a nice little project. It was kind of an idea that came to me. It might have been done before, I don't know. I didn't, I couldn't be bothered to ask, go looking to see has it been done. I've never seen one before, so um, hopefully it's inspired you to go out and make something nice for, uh, for Valentine's. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There'll be a few pictures at the end so you can see a close up. Uh, that's it guys. Other than to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, old and new. I've surpassed the 20,000 now. Never thought I'd ever get to that stage, but listen, thank you so much. And the next video that you'll see is gonna be a giveaway. Keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be an awesome giveaway. I have some fantastic prizes and uh, yeah, it should be fun to take part. So in the next couple of days, keep your, keep your eyes out and uh, you'll see that video of the giveaway. Make sure you take part because there is a good chance of winning some nice prizes. All right, guys, thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye.